The University of Louisville's Belknap campus just isn't where it was supposed to be. Just before U.S. entry into World War I, university leaders set out to find a new location for its Arts and Sciences College, which was splitting at the seams in an old mansion on West Broadway. With funds provided by the family of William R. Belknap, a recently deceased hardware distributor, the university bought a large farm near present-day Bellarmine University and planned to use the proceeds of a voter-approved bond issue to build a sparkling new campus in the Highlands. That effort failed, however, in 1920 when local African-American voters refused to endorse a project that benefited what was then a whites-only U of L. Determined to relocate, though, the university sold its farm in the emerging suburbs in 1923 for a profit and purchased the 60-year-old site of the Industrial School of Reform, the city's orphanage and reform school on 3rd near Eastern Parkway. First called the House of Refuge, the Industrial School of Reform had merged a few years earlier with the Jefferson County Children's Home and the two units were preparing to move to new facilities on LaGrange Road called Armsby Village. This aerial photo shows what the old home for delinquent, vagrant, and orphaned children and youth looked like just before conversion into Belknap Campus began. I count at least 16 structures, several of which were demolished soon after U of L acquired the site. For instance, there's the 1861 Baxter Hall, the oldest and largest of the Industrial School of Reform buildings, which housed the superintendent's residence, offices, an infirmary, as well as the dormitory wings for young wards. Damaged by fire, it was torn down to make room for the brand new Speed Museum, which opened in 1927. Two other buildings on either side of where the oval driveway was installed that today leads to Grawmeyer Hall and the Thinker statue were also demolished quickly. Finally, several structures, and they were probably framed, visible in the lower portion of the photo, that likely served the Reform School's farm and garden operation were removed as well. Enough talk, though, of demolition. It's the eight orphanage reform school buildings that weren't torn down when U of L christened the site and that are still in use on Belknap campus that drives the telling of this story. For instance, there's the Protestant chapel erected in 1874 that was immediately transformed by the university into a student and community theater by removing the steeples, raising the roof for stage and curtains, and expanding the lobby across the front. Incidentally, that playhouse sat on the present site of the Ekstrom Library until it was dismantled board by board in 1977 and reassembled a few years later on a traffic island at 3rd and Cardinal Boulevard where it remains today. Five of the surviving Industrial School of Reform buildings still in use at U of L are positioned along a sidewalk that cuts through Belknap campus off 3rd Street. The first is Oppenheimer Hall, built as a dormitory for African American young men back in the 1880s. And next to it, going east, is Jewett Hall, built in the same era for classrooms for the students. Ford Hall comes next. It's the youngest of the survivors at only 115 years old, built as a residence for white females. Then there's the cross-shaped Gardner Hall, the oldest of the original buildings dating to 1872, constructed to house older white females, and the final building on that historic orphanage reform school sidewalk is Gottschalk Hall, built in 1894 as a dormitory for young African-American women. You have to cross Belknap campus a ways to find the last two Louisville Industrial School of Reform buildings that are still in use. There's Brigman Hall, dating from 1894, and built extra strong to house machinery for teaching the young wards manual skills like broom and furniture making. 
Not surprisingly, when U of L opened its new campus in 1925, Brigman was designated for the brand new Speed School of Engineering because they also needed sturdy floors to hold heavy equipment. Finally, just behind Brigman at the corner of 3rd and Eastern Parkway sits Patterson Hall, the last of the eight in use, built in 1898 to serve white male residents. Well, there you have it. A university with a grandiose dream in the World War I era for a spiffy new campus in the Highlands that had to settle instead for retreaded digs formerly used by the city's old orphanage reform school. Financially unable to call in backhoes and bulldozers, U of L opened its Belknap campus in 1925 in 11 Louisville Industrial School structures, eight of which still survive. Those storied classroom and office buildings built during the 19th and early 20th century for a very different use are now so much a part of the modern University of Louisville campus, it's impossible to imagine what we would do without them. No doubt it is that mix of old and new architecture that helps make the venerable campus such a popular destination for visitors. Looking back, I'm sure glad Belknap campus ended up where it was not supposed to be. Well, thanks for watching. I'm pedaling off now in search of the next installment of Hometown Louisville with Tom Owen.